Marini Navi has been always the Rolls-Royce of the sailing yachts, designed to cross oceans. Kahalesi was built in 1996 and her previous name was Salperton. The plan for today's video will go like this. First, I'm going to feature a few spots on the yachts on deck and under deck. And later, I'm going to put the uncut full walkthrough video, which allows you to see every corner of the yacht and understand her general arrangement. Later today, I'm going to prepare a full video of the engine room, and I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. If you are interested in any other yacht located in Turkey, please feel free to contact me. My experience as a Navy chief engineer and a yacht captain will ensure that all the information I will pass over to you has been tested through a professional eye and I'm going to give you some photos and some professional videos like you are seeing now. If you like this video, do subscribe now to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you. Kahalesi is 37 meter by length, 7.7 .7 meter beam. Her hull is built from steel with aluminum superstructure. She is ABS classified. Kahalesi has a catch rigging with additional fisherman sail, which is typical for Perini Navi. The sails are designed to be operated by shorthand crew, and all sailing operations are controlled by pushing a button from the panel located at the wheelhouse. The stay sail is self-tacking. Kahalesi has an adjustable lifted keel that allows her to reach full sailing performance. When sailing to the wind, the keel is lowered to maximum depth of 6 meters. That's about 21 feet. With following winds and when entering shallow water, the keel is lifted to minimum depth of 3.2 meters, about 10 feet. Storage spaces in this boat are amazing, stretched along from the aft to the foredeck. The storage doors are hydraulically controlled and have manual locks that keeps them tightly closed in bad weather when breaking waves are washing the decks. Though Kahalesi is a powerful sailing machine, still she has enough fuel capacity to cross the Atlantic Ocean only by using her 550 horsepower Volvo Penta single main engine. I have prepared a separate video for the engine room. You will find a link to it at the end of this video, as well as at the video description below. Kahalesi crew accommodations are designed for six. The main crew area is separated from the guest salon with a door and has also separate stairs leading to the deck, allowing guests maximum privacy. Two cabins located here, each for two crew with two heads and a shared shower. The large, well-equipped galley and the pantry are part of this area. There is an additional third crew cabin, which is normally used to accommodate two stewardesses. This cabin is located aft of the salon and separated with a door. Kahalesi has three cabins for six guests. The master cabin is located at the aft, far from the engine room, and includes office and suite and walk-in wardrobe. The two large twin guest cabins, each with end suite, are located before the master cabin. The one at the port side has also a pullman bed for additional guests. There is a high seating area salon at the main deck, allowing guests to view the ocean through big windows. The main large salon, which is also included a dining area, is located at the lower deck with attached day head. Outside, on the aft deck, there is a seating and sunbedding spaces for relaxing and dining. From this point, I have attached the full uncut walkthrough video for those of you who are interested to see more details. Please let me know what you think about Kahalesi and this video by putting your comments below. Thank you.
If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you.